bad vantage there. That was actually a fat finger. I did not mean to press it. Through most of the energy now. Seems like he's going down kind of slow. Just cursed right at the end. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. That one's always scuffed. You never know how many, um... It, you know, you never... I have to check the VOD to see, like, how much time I had that curse active on me for. go. What poison do you use on offhand? Uh, is Greater Arcane Elixir still working? Good question from both of you guys. What you're gonna have to do is check the Discord. There's a nice FAQ section. There's a nice read here first section that'll answer your questions for you. Well, I used the restorative potion, but the restorative potion doesn't always uh, get you right away. It's a five second interval. Anyways, we're here at almost the start of Molten Core. We just killed Lucifron, but Lucifron's lame. This is on my main character, and, uh... Hang on, Raid Leader was just telling me some stuff. I'll redo that opener. Alright, we're here at the... <clears throat> We're here at the start of Molten Core, almost the start. We just killed Lucifron, but Lucifron is lame. Uh, I'm on my main character. We have uh, Dark Mantle, Fell Striker. This is my most geared character. We're in Heat 3 Molten Core and about to go in to Magmadar. And Magmadar is one of the bosses where I have to do Expose Armor. Uh, so I'm going to go here. I've cut to the chase on my bracer? Why is that? Ah, well, that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be for uh, when I'm mutilating. So uh, I screwed up on uh, Lucifron a little bit. Uh, we just got different assignments on different bosses of which Rogue has to do expose armor. So, you know, you're not screwed for the entire raid. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, last week we had... Uh, Number one world, all classes, Gehenna's damage, and Golemag also. The Golemag one got beat by now, but I don't think the, um, I don't think the Gehenna's one got beat. We're hoping really to get, um, chest armor and shoulder tokens. Hang on. Yeah, I got exposed for Magmadar. Refresh that. Plenty of duration on the other buffs. There we go. There we go. 
Okay. Yeah, they're not trying to kill them. We're deploying our battle chickens and letting the battle chickens squawk to give us a buff. Got one of them. Uh, so we chill in for a little bit. We'll kill them eventually. Where's your chicken? I forgot it. It's in the bank. It's okay, though. We got a domesticated attack chicken on this one from Nomergon. Oh, they said to go ahead and kill it. Too late. Feared. Cool. Cool. Full fear. Full fear. Not full fear. Okay. I'm gonna have to run like PvP trinket on this boss in the future. It's just spinning constantly? I don't really know what's going on with him. on this boss. Maybe we do more this time and replace our own rank one world parse. And then we just clown on people more because I don't actually care what Warcraft Log says about my skill, my uh, performance. The thing about Warcraft Logs is just fundamentally stupid is that it attempts to assign an individual score to your performance while participating in a team. And it's never, your score is never just a product of the individual. It's a product of RNG, the individual, and the team that you're in. So like when you just put an individual to that, it's uh, you know, an individual score to something that's product of, you know, significantly more than just the individual. It's just like a fundamentally stupid ranking. change build we have to change that rune 
back and forth to Carnage for this uh, expose armors nonsense. There we go. The secret to parsing on Gar, I don't care. Like I said, don't care about Warcraft logs. It's just fun to flex on people when you get, you know, a high parse and actually don't care about it. And then, like, all the other people that do care, they're like, oh my god. Oh my god, you're so cool. That's what I think. Yeah, I'm just here to pump. Okay, giant and giant. No destroyers. The destroyers are a little more dangerous. We're probably not going to beat the number we set last week because last week in Venom scaled with spell power and this week it doesn't. Well, that's uh, a lot of damage off. <laughs> they did say we're going to attempt Gar burning the boss and we're gonna have our world buffs out. And um, we could just lose all of our world buffs at that point. That could happen. What if... If I can generate some combo points there. Double check, carnage, non-exposed build. We're good. Okay. Yeah, dude, all we have to do is get even luckier with Fell Striker than we did last week. What's going on? There's, there's a lot of confusion in the voice chat of like, this guy pull, pu pu uh, drank a potion, now we have to wait, do we have to wait? Is there a rage mob? Is there not a rage mob? People seem to be a little confused on what's going on. Hmm. 
<laughs> so they'll pull that. I will hopefully get combo points via Honor Among Thieves. There's a combo point, two combo points, three combo points, four combo points, five combo points. There we go. I'm not even in combat. Okay. I'm gonna fap on pull, then enter stealth, then sprint. I meant to slice, then fap. That wasn't exactly right. Could have had the slice running, like, already. Not gonna refresh this slice or this bleed three point five yeah all right minor execution error there with not pressing the slice and dice at the start but pretty good what do we get? Risk guards of stability, incandescent boot, molten scale boot, robe of volatile power. Okay, nothing good for us. Didn't feel like 24% fell striker uptime. Yeah, dude, I was less skillful, clearly. <laughs> I don't know, that just felt like a way slower kill than last time. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it was that much slower. It felt slower. Why do I have a huge font? Oh, how? Oh, well. That and many other questions are um, on the Discord in the Read Here First section. Don't I use Juju's for strength and attack power? Well, because they're annoying to farm. That's it. They're annoying to apply. They're 10 minutes to less duration. Instead of 20 minutes and one hour. 
their 30 minutes and 10 minutes. You know? The attack power buff lasts 10 minutes compared to the one I'm using last 20 minutes. And, uh, fuck you, I don't have to explain myself to you. Just, just, I don't know. I don't feel like it. Okay, well, the verdict here is have all the world buffs out, ignore the ads, burn the boss. What usually, what often happens when you do this strategy is your, the tank on the ads dies because the ads get enraged to deal triple damage as soon as Gar hits 75% health. It's extremely difficult to uh, keep your tank alive. There's a Gamba up. Wait, which Gamba? Let me see. Will they one-shot Gar? Yep, okay, prediction's up. That's a good prediction for right now. That's a good one. Okay. Oh, we can't use that. We need to use our Gar set. Remember to equip your Gar fire resist set. You know, you might have a different resist set for Gar you might want to equip. Didn't they nerf spell power for Rogue? Yeah, that and many other questions can be answered in the FAQ sections and I uh, read here first sections on the Discord. Okay. Now, making sure everyone knows the, like, tank cooldown rotation for the ads, because that's very important. Like, if someone fucks up their, like, tank defensive cooldown, tank dies, raid wipes, we all lose our world buffs, everyone's mad. Oh, 62,000 points thinking we're gonna one-shot Gar. 52,000 on no. I don't know, I feel like it's a 50-50. I feel like it's actually a 50-50 whether, whether this works or not. Gar is not one of the bosses that I need to uh, expose. I'm on Golemag and Ragnaros are the remaining two. No matter what happens, a binding will drop. Maybe. It could.
uh, Homunculus now applies Sunder Armor, which is actually a, like, super good change. So the little Homunculus guys, they run up, and instead of casting Degrade, they cast Sunder. And then other warriors can sunder to maintain the sunder stack and add to the sunder stack. So, like, the homunculus can really help with getting the initial five stack. Oh, they said on Boon. Okay, it's, uh, almost go time, I guess? We have a shitload of fire resist in this gear set. Correct. Mm hmm. No Nixia cloak? Yeah. This is a kind of scuffed set because it's for Gar only. It's not as uh, it's not as nice as my other set. They're gonna pull the Serger as a rage mob, so I'm just targeting Gar. I swapped on my Honor Among Thieves helmet. And I'll swap back to Night Slayer cover soon. Yo, we really want to run all the way up this hallway for this? We get farther. No, he comes up to here. I don't know how long this is going to take. I guess I'm refreshing my food buff again. Combo point. There. Making sure this swap actually happens when it dies. Swap has occurred. Good. slow. This doesn't seem good. I think I should be in front of the boss. Not getting knocked back at all. Nah, the SLT was too late. I was focused on too many other things. Scorchcore ha- oh wait, no, we already have that. Okay. Whoops. Oh my god, the Expose Armor rogue says they dropped Expose Armor.
Alright, that was a little scuffed. I didn't like it. I normally, when I do that boss, I just go in front of the boss so I don't even have to think about the knockbacks. Wait, he did 39% of his damage to Firesworn? 20% of damage to Firesworn? What the... What the fuck? Why is there so much? Reset. You don't need to be in the special gar set anymore. Able to resist the knockback with fire resist? I don't know. Everyone's staying in. Holy shit. I have two-piece bonus for faint damage reduction. Um, I mean, we're gonna find out today, but, like, I read the tooltip and it seems like it should work. Okay, so we are... The, the plan right now is... We are not going to run out when the Inferno happens on Baron Geddon. Are we running, like, plus one healer for this idea? There's also going to be a shitload more raid damage than we're used to. They're not running an additional healer for this strategy. They're doing... They got a couple people with Duke's Domain Trinket. This is actually going to be insanely based. Uh, who's doing... Uh, I mean, I think we're all going to die. Greg Fork. Doing a change hat. Let's go. Mm, how about this one? Alright, so, uh, some people will fight Baron Geddon in the previous room. Um, that's not really great because it's a very long pull.
Will the faint last for the full inferno? Well, it lasts... Wait. Wait, do I not have two piece? Frick, which pieces do I have? Oh, god damn it. Okay, so this has to go there, and then this has to go here. And then I have two piece bonus. And I still have the same amount of fire resistance. Okay. And I have four piece dark mantle. Okay. Anyways, the faint lasts six seconds. Who knows the cast time of Inferno? Well, I've got time to figure it out. It's okay. Baron Geddon. Eight seconds. Okay, so we take two ticks, then we press faint. Yeah, I know I switched the helm off. Because I wanted the honor among thieves. So I can trigger these five combo points on Baron Geddon while not helping my team kill these boss- these trash mobs. They're doing one more trash mob and then the boss. And we've got our five combo points, so we're happy. Mm -hmm. Dog incoming. Okay, they shot it. Nice. Oh, getting coming too. Oh, dog just going over the thingy. There we go. We're just chilling. We're chilling with our five combos. And our slightly scuffed gear set. I need a food buff too, huh? that one. One more rotation. Aim dog redeeming change hat. Okay. Roger that. No! 
Okay, well, I guess I'm not going into that one. Seemed okay. Okay, well, they, they called to pull out on that one, and I'm going to die, not die. Oh boy. Wow. Uh Scorch Core Belt. Seemed like that worked. I was uh, much more afraid of that strategy than it seemed like we needed to. That was 2.6. I think I did better last week. I don't know, I think I maybe, I mean, that, I mean, that's, that's another one where it's like, man, like, you can't do anything about it. Like, if you're trying to do a lot of damage, you just get unlucky and you get fucking, um, um. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I mean, you get Living Bomb and you have to uh, fucking bail out. And it's like, well, there goes tens of thousands of damage that you could have dealt. <laughs> so, unlucky. All right, so we're doing the same thing we did on uh, uh, Baron Geddon, where we're trying to switch into our Honor Among Thieves helm, let the group kill a trash pop, trash pack. Two points, three points, four points, five points, switch back. This is, this is the way. This is what they expect me to do in this guild, okay? Be a filthy degenerate, <laughs> okay? They're doing one more pack. I didn't realize they were doing one more pack.
That was the, the they're saying it was the second fastest Baron Geddon kill in the world. This you did the Simon I will look look. You put me in a, a pond with a bunch of speedrunners, I'll play for overall damage. You put me in a pond with a bunch of degenerate boss parsers, I'll degenerate boss parse. Whatever. I don't care. You think I should run two-piece Night Slayer on this one also? And then I can faint? Nah, dude. Just let the healers heal me. It's a healer problem. Refresh that. Refresh this. Mm, hours are at one... At five minutes? Probably enough. This boss is one where you don't really have to have fire resistance. Because there's no fire damage going out. It's only like a mage reflects a living bomb or something and then there's fire damage that you can take. Can it reflect your chili? Probably. I'm still... I'm still just gonna wear the fire resist. Yeah, I mean, if you could remove your Blaze Furies and your Dragon Breath Chilies, then, like... And you have your mages not cast a Living Bomb. Because on the potential it gets reflected. You could have people just not run fire resist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, it's time to lock in. That mob's gonna die. They're gonna put a 10-second pull timer in. Okay. There's a problem with one of my macros. Hang on. It's fine. I'm not getting these Garrods on pull all the time. No! Thistle T right when he teleported, bro. One guy down. That's unlucky. This thing's gonna move again soon, I think. Probably last slice. Potion. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We're running, we're chasing the boss. The boss is very fast. That was, should not have been a rupture. Should not have done that rupture there. That was bad. Okay. Yeah, okay, so the first one that moved, the first time it moved, it moved away from the raid, so I think we, they, the, like, all the range stack and healers needed to, um, um, never mind. So, like, all the range and healer stack had to move. So, this is, like, not an ideal direction to drag the boss in after the teleport. That I did use fire resist on that one, because I'm a pansy-ass bitch. Okay.
Uh, Scorch Core Helm. Tank set, off spec. Um, tank set, off spec. Tank set, off spec. Um, used in some sets, not others. Not really a great one, but I don't have it. Close enough. Off spec. Okay. None of the two tier pieces we want to drop. Shoulder and chest are what we really want. Yeah, Shazra doesn't have fire damage, but I don't know if Chili can be reflected. I don't know about Blaze Fury Medallion reflecting. I don't know about a mage casting a living bomb causing a reflect or a, a hunter explosive shot or trap or whatever. I'm just not interested in getting killed to something I didn't expect because I wanted to, I, whatever, skimp the limits or whatever. It's just like, it's so not worth worrying about any of that. Uh, so, the problem I had is I have, um, mildly irradiated rejuvenation potion macroed into my Garrote button. And if my character is not in position to cast a Garrote, you have to be, like, behind the mob. Which, while a mob is moving, can be a little finicky to position and I press the button, it will fail to cast Garrow, then activate the potion and pull me out of stealth. And that's what happened on Shazra, why I didn't get that Garrow opener that I wanted. So I'm thinking maybe I should um, find it somewhere else instead. Like, let's go here, spell book, put regular Garrow back on there. Maybe I put, like, potion on three, which is the same number slot in my normal bar as Garrod is in my stealth bar. Like, I don't cast Gouge in a fucking raid, so that's not important. Okay, they're killing this stuff first. I'm stunned. Missing Mongoose and Giants right now? Yeah, yeah. They, they had five minutes on before we started Shazra, and now they're off, and I'll refresh them before Sulfuron. Uh, they're assigning some of the loot or whatever. Oh, 
Skywalker first. Uh, I'm in front of uh, I'm in front of Salt John right now. I'm gonna be right back real quick. Right, I'm gonna be right back before I do this Sulfuron. It's gonna be a good one. Maybe I should, uh, yeah, they mentioned greater fire protection before I AFK. One second. I'll be right back, you guys. Okie dokie. Oh, what's up? <clears throat> mm so we got our Honor Among Thieves Helm equipped. We'll gain combo points when they fight that thing. Uh, three minutes on Supreme Power. We're going to have to refresh that. Refresh this. This. This one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Fusian says I got Deceit to pair with Distracting Dagger. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's a good combination. Those are powerful. Have you cleared Heat 3 before? Yeah. Yeah. We did it last week. Doing it again this week. Ooh, I should shadow potion on this boss also. There's there's shadow damage. Uh, let's see. What else we need to arrange? Aren't you best target the mob you're going to be kicking? I don't have a kick assignment yet. If we, if we get one, it's fine. But like I'm going to spend the combo points with a slice and dice while I run in anyways. Wait. No, I should spend them on a Crimson Tempest. Alright, they were distributing a, a, a little bit of loot. Thank you. 
Okay. We also need to press this one. Guys are doing heat three with only three shamans, no shaman in group three. Yeah, that's correct. Press it for the group three. F it, no one should be relying on shaman totem anyways. Because a lot of the bosses, they knock you around and you um, have knockbacks and, like, positioning. Should you get out of range of those totems super easily? Um, yeah, you, you generally, sh whether you have a shaman or not, you should generally not rely on the totem resistance in your resistance set. Why not use juju power? Because I don't feel like it. Use 199 unless it's Gar. Yeah, whatever. Okay, what's going on? I think we're doing Sulfuron next. Two different protection potions up. That's good. Is this flask this week so you could go 4-4 four, four with Tear and Dark Mantle? That sounds good. Sounds pretty good. I wonder if I could make that set work with my gear. I didn't actually think about that too much. They're, they need to do some assignments or whatever. Oh my god, they no one put their potions up yet. Yeah, I was using a 4-4 set for the world bosses earlier with no like fire resist requirement. Four Night Slayer, four Dark Mantle. Yeah, Fire Extinguisher, it's not a great trinket to be using if all you're getting from it is a 20 fire resist. Because you want to be using, you know, Hand of Justice is very powerful. Duck or Ripper, but nothing to pair with it yet. Well, you can just... Hold on. You can just pair it with the trash can. And you just take the Guck or Ripper, and you put it into the trash. And then you use your Bone Scraper, and your Distracting Dagger, and your Deceit, and your Fright Talon, and your Alcor Sunraiser, and your debased stealth blade and your probably glimmering gizmo blade is better than that item. 
Well, the trash can is not full. Yeah, I'll empty it when it's full. Heat 3 BIS setup with Devil Core still viable after the change. You can check out BIS lists, including fire resist ones, on the Discord in the BIS list se uh, section. Yeah, the the way mutilate, you know, the way rogue generally works is just like, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, they're doing kick assignments. I have to listen now. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's... Hang on, listening. I'm on X. Okay. No, the cloak is the cloak is puissant cape. Bro, half the raid is like I can't kick because because my it it hurts my dps too much we have so many people that can kick and so many people complaining that they won't kick because it loses too much dps what the fuck <laughs> How much DPS do you lose in the boss heals for a hundred K? None. That doesn't specifically hinder that individual's, uh, you know, performance metrics. Surprise Pikachu faith. Yeah, it's it's kind of sad. Okay, we finally get to pull the boss. Oh yeah, my food buff expired again. That's not surprising. I think we just spent 30 minutes standing in front of Sulfuron. Pretty sure that's that's about right on the timer. All right, I'm using these points for a like opening GCD Crimson Tempest. I think that's the best thing I can press. 
What are they? I mean, they were distributing loot from the first half of the instance, and then there was like a bunch of people doing random shit. Never mind. Don't worry about it. I think I have threat again. I do. Is he stunnable? He is not. I'm gonna die. Slice dropped. In the rain of fire. Got that. Okay, there's shit on the ground. There's too much going on in this fight, man. Bad crimson. It was almost over. It should have been. Man, that sucked. Yeah, I mean, I ripped threat and I had to throttle, so I didn't do very good. Yeah, I also have wrong helm, you're right. Wait, a onslaught girdle just came off a of sulfuron. Yo, what up? <laughs> yeah, I had wrong helmet on, and like, I mean, whenever you rip threat, and then like, you just panic because like you you're about to die, and like you don't know when the tank's gonna pull off of you or what. Yeah, I mean, our tank, we, we solo tanked it, and the tank was, like, very confident that, like, he would be able to hold threat. Which, uh, turned out to not be true. We've got to go for Golemag. We have to do expose. I shouldn't be flipping this around yet. Yeah, we got, uh, let's see. Helm of the Life Giver, Onslaught Girdle, Molten Scale Bindings, Molten Scale Shoulders, Scorched Core Shoulder Pads. That's five items off of that boss in Heat Level 3. Yeah, we got cut to the chase on. 
Who knows how many of these packs they're gonna kill or skip, so we should probably flip this over and target Golemag pretty soon here. No reboot? Oh, I forgot. I was very- I didn't like that boss, dude. I mean, like, I mean, you rip threat and you just have to stop attacking. It's just like, whatever. Dude, there's too- I, for me, there's too much going on on that boss. Just spam Shadow Bolt Volley, 6k DPS. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not a warlock. <laughs> okay, we got our combo points. Let's get our correct helm back on. Okay. We got cut to the chase. We got five combo points on the boss. That's probably the, like, rage mob or whatever. So... Oopsies. What's this? We drink a potion here for fire protection. This boss will do some fire damage to us. Absorbing it up is going to be good. We'll hit our... Uh, hit that. Hit that. One, two, three. Four. Five. Refresh. Refresh that. That's a brazier of invocation. Wait, that's the wrong item. All right, we're unbooned. We have our combo points. We can, uh, yeah, they're doing chickens over here on this Fire Lord to try to get a battle squawk. See if we get a battle squawk buff. Got ooh, there's one. Got a squawk. Chillin', we chillin', we're ready to go here. Checked all my thingies. All good. <laughs> Maybe we get a second squawk. Maybe not. Who knows? How do you start with five combo points? We used a different helmet that had Honor Among Thieves, and we just targeted the boss while the raid killed a trash pack. Then we switched back to our regular helm and never untargeted the boss. We 
Okay, so this is gonna be first global expose. Carry, obviously. Two people are dead. Boss is spinning like crazy. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting bites from the dogs. That was scuffed. Extremely scuffed. Can't have the dogs in melee. The, the tank that was supposed to tank them, I believe, uh, died. Scorch court chest? Yo, wait. Wait, that's good, that's good, that's good. Too late. <laughs> mm -hmm -hmm. ACLG might be the best glove to use even if you're already using Distracting Dagger, or you might have other options that are better, like Devil Core or Night Slayer. One of my specs has uh, improved expose armor and the other does not. That is what's going on here. And we have, uh, we're assigned to do expose armor on some of the bosses and not others. Which actually just seems really weird. I think it should be one rogue all week because then you can have like, d for like the full raid instead of swapping back and forth. Like this is, this is like an extra complication. That's some like bullshit, if you ask me. What did we just forget? So having, oh yeah, we have to have the carnage rune, thank you. There's too much swapping back and forth between like exposed setup, non-exposed setup. It should just be like one rogue does it every boss one week and a different rogue does it every boss the next week. This back and forth shit, I don't like it. Which I'll, you know, I'll communicate with the other rogue about that and we'll, we'll figure it out. Is the boss spawned? Oh shit, he is. Okay. like even with expose armor there's like if you knew you were doing expose armor for the full raid you could do it differently on different bosses advantageous and that would be advantageous but this like mix and match 
It's like you have to have a DPS spec and then you have to have an exposed spec and maybe depending on which ones you're assigned to, it might not be the ideal exposed spec or whatever. All right, we got our shadow protection going. Get our fire protection going now. getting our combos. <laughs> different in any way besides the fire resist requirements? Yep. Some of the bosses are mechanically different. Like Baron Geddon's living bomb going on two targets at once or three targets at once or like leaving a fire patch on the ground after the bomb explodes like doesn't happen in heat one does happen in heat two and three they are there's more differences than just the fire resist requirements fire protection we got our shadow protection we got ch -ch -ch all these consumables we will have to unboon when we pull this fire lord Okay, there we go. So, we're still on wrong helm. So, get our five points up. We queue into swapping the helm. Basically just not touching the mob, not trying to get hit by any fire damage from this thing. Okay, I'm on the correct mob. Or correct helmet. Reckless Pull early. Classic. I have threat on this one. I'm gonna vanish. Hold, hold, hold. Crimson. Slice again. Marble volley kicked.
That was good. That seemed good. I was happy with that. Impossible. I was pretty happy with that. That's 4.3 thousand DPS on Major Domo. That's got to be pretty good. How much did Sandstorm do? 2.4% of my damage? Yeah, that's good. Shadow Flame Skull? Wait, does Ra have that already? I don't know. Wild Growth... Oh, hold on. Let's check the loot. Wild Growth Spalders. Gloves of the Hypnotic Flame. Incandescent Bindings. Incandescent Robe. Incandescent Shoulder Pad. Shadow Flame Skull. All right. Um, Ra was doing Fan of Knives Adrenaline Rush combat, and he was applying Sebaceous and Occult Poison to all targets. Yeah, he did the same thing on Sulfuron. Uh, I liked this. Like, I didn't pull threat and I didn't have to throttle. I mean, the one time I pulled threat, Vanish got me out of it. But when you do threat with Blade Flurry, Vanish usually does not remove the threat on the secondary target from Blade Flurry. It's like some weird interaction. I assume it's a bug. They're going to try to bring the... Uh, are we going to have a repair bot deployed in the melee, or do we want to deploy it right now? Okay, so they're going to try to pull this Surger in with them to the boss and just tank it for like 90 seconds while the Major Domo RP, Ragnaros RP is happening. So they can have a rage mob to start with full rage on the boss. Let's see. I'm switching into exposed for wreck. The dark mantle tank treads are very good. I don't know if they're a DPS gain if you're not casting Blade Dance, though. And it's DPS gain versus what is always the question. Someone turned me into goblin mode. I don't want to be goblin mode right now.
No, I'm pretty sure Domo damage gets removed. I think he's just there because it's too obnoxious to try to pull him out. And it's whatever. Okay. Never mind. This isn't the one we're going to use. There's one more. Okay. I can probably five point on this guy, then redirect into the... Nah, the redirect isn't very clean. If I five point on this guy, I should just... Uh, if I... Yeah, I should slice this guy, and then I'll, like, third global expose instead of second global expose if I tried to, like, redirect points onto uh, Ragnaros. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna... Shit. If I target the repair bot, I'm gonna lose these combo points. Okay. Got the full repair. Now I'll go back here. Okay. Everything I need here. These mortal infidels, my lord. They have invaded your sanctum and seek to steal your secrets. They called to kill the serger. You allow these incense to run rampant through the hollowed core. Get the slice. Now you lead them to my very lair. You have failed me, Executus. Justice shall be met in peace. Too early with those. I did pop those too soon. Oh, 
I should have redirected. Ooh, I should not have touched that mob at all. Oh, they vacuum you in and they die. It's kind of annoying. Oh, shit. Holy shit, no. Thistle there. Delayed the poison knife for too long. Probably the last time I have to cast. Uh, expose. It's not even good, but I want it. Okay, uh, Heat 3 Ragnaros, Dragon's Blood Cape, Bando Sulfurus, Perdition's Blade, Incandescent Boots, Incandescent Gloves, Incandescent Robe, Scorched Core Boots. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of loot off of that boss in Heat 3. Oh, what? I was changing- hang on, I misclicked. Yeah, I don't care who gets that. I'm probably not going to use it on this character. If you have any, think you're going to use it. I mean, I wouldn't equip it in a raid, so it might sit there for a while. Yeah, I did that on my alt, and I made a video. Look at this sick glow, and it got a lot of views, but I can't do the same thing again. <laughs> They're trying to give me the, get me to get take the Shadow Flame Sword so I can make a video out of it. I'm like, already done, man. <laughs> Thirty-four durability. By the way, this 
weapons started with full durability when we pulled Ragnaros. You got exposed for this one, yeah. Wait, someone says their computer crashed. Oh, it's the mage who's offline now. You guys got like 200 incandescent pieces? Yeah. yeah, we've been getting a lot of incandescent caster shit. <laughs> Is meatball easy now that people know what to do? This boss is incredibly easy. It's a giant loot pinata, literal pinata that rises into the sky, and then you hit it a little bit, and then a bunch of loot pops out. This boss is very easy. What the fuck is going on? Everyone's offline now. this do that you did that already we do uh, fire protection potion preemptive 10 minutes 10 minutes 10 minutes unboon this ready I'm not sure if you can gear out this guy, and I'm not going to find out. I'm just going to... Oop, Carnage. Are we still in exposed spec? We are not. There we go. Carnage is on. I don't think we instantly get put in combat. Not sure what the start timer is on this exactly. What the? Okay, I fucked something up. I was a little bit confused on what was happening, and now my opener is very scuffed.
Yeah, I was confused on exactly when the combat was starting at the start of that. That was not very good. What do we get? Another incandescent rope and it dropped black lotus? Incant- dude. We actually got 200 pieces of incandescent tier this week. Cool, but bad. Uh, tank set. Off spec. Main spec. This. Need. This. And shoulder. Uh, main spec. This. Need. This. And chest. Used in some sets, not in others. Okay. Boon your 16 minutes of world buffs. Now we're getting full fresh. Alright. I would say... Eh, it was mid. Mid this week. We got to change the expose armor setup so it's one one guy for the whole raid instead of switching back and forth on different bosses. That's some bullshit. Um Oh, should we got a molten perditions blade? All right, that's hype. Who's got it? Fuck, where is it? Wait, did I not get it? Wait, am I crazy? Where's the Perdition's Blade? Did it not trade? Trade cancelled? Okay, well, never mind. We'll just wait. Alright, this is the loot allocation. We're really hoping... We get chest and shoulder. Because then we would be able to activate six piece and we'd be very, very good. Ba my bags are not full. Yeah, there's a loot council system where like a couple people, a couple like officers vote on who gets what or whatever and they have some like performance metrics they go by or whatever. I don't know. Uh, some people don't like loot council systems. I think it's great because I don't have to think about it. I don't think I, I don't have to think about, um, you know, metagaming the loot system of like, what do I pick for a soft reserve or whatever? Or what do I, you know, you know, if someone else soft, res you know, rolls on this, I roll on that. Who like, I just don't have to think about it. All I have to think about is just like doing the best I can in the raid. DKP, do I bid on this pair of gloves? Yeah, right. If I if I bid 25 DKP on this glove, then the other rogue will be one point ahead of me and he'll be able to get Shadow Flame boots when I when they drop. So I can only bid 23 points on this. It's like I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> it's like I don't want to deal with a loot system that I have to like meta game or think about like that. I just want to go to the raid and pump, which is pretty much what happened today. Uh, we went a little slow with, like, uh, moving through stuff or whatever. Um, 
but overall it was good i mean like the, like the, the downtime is like it is what it is it's like we got to be a hundred percent on all the strategies and stuff it's just the way it goes these uh we got two of them there's two rugs it's like we use these in some sets and we don't use them in other sets depending on how the fire resist is working out so it's like this might get equipped it might not get equipped perdition's blade will get equipped when we go to a dungeon and try to do backstab but yeah what i what i'm really hoping for is scorch the, the shoulder and the chest because then we can activate six piece and we go insane uh, there were two shoulders and one chest, so we'll see what's we'll see what happens with those. Simon got purred, Zyrene can buff it now. <laughs> no, now we just theory craft how to make a backstab build actually good in raids. Spoiler, it's not. It's almost certainly not. <laughs> But it is pretty clear that Perdition's Blade is the best dagger for the backstab build. Last a target for 98 to 122 fire damage. I, I think the, I mean, the loot council, I know, they, they know that this item is not good. And it kind of like doesn't matter who gets it and like i was the i believe the only one who needed this still so it's like yeah easy easy choice i don't know if ra wanted a perdition's blade or not Wait, hang on let's see what this says Wait, wait, what, what did I just press? Okay. You can see the loot allocation there. Simonize Orc. Does it say we improved? Probably improved some. Yeah, we did improve some. Gehenna's still rank one. Magmadar, that was last week we did that. We did less this week. We were exposing on that boss this week. Shazro is pretty good. Wait, Golomag? Oh, that's from last week also. Um, Yeah, a lot of these did get improved. Look at that. Domo, 99. Molten Core, 40, 41 in the world for rogues. Is a 93rd percentile because there aren't very many... <laughs> Uploads. Yeah, okay. Yeah, considering this is my second Heat 3 clear, it's pretty expected that, like, we'll beat some of the ones yes that we got yesterday. Molten Scale Shoulder. Baron Geddon. I remember the Baron Geddon. Oh, 99th, 22nd in the world among rogues. We did get a bomb at a really bad time, which is unlucky. Like, this is when we got the bomb doing no damage. This is when they called to run out of an inferno. And I ran in the opposite direction of the boss, so we lost uptime there also. Oh, we didn't uh, activate our roids after the ground Scorpok assay faded. Forgot about that. 
Molten Perdition's Blade. That's pretty good. Scorch Core Shoulder. Scorch Core Shoulder. Oh, we got the shoulder. We got the shoulder. There's still a chest to go out. We did not get the chest, so we do not have a six piece. Damn. I was really hoping we would get the two and then have the six piece, but unlucky. The warriors need all the help they can get, you know, to keep up with me. So we can't be... They need to have more loot, you know. Trade the dagger back for... I mean... These are, like... It's the, like, who cares type of items. Uh, okay. Night Slayer shoulder pads. That's the one. Very good. I'm not sure if we even change our set because we don't have that sixth piece. Um... Yeah, I don't think we break Dark Mantle because we don't have a sixth piece. Yeah, maybe we get lucky on Onyxia. That could happen. Okay, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. It's late. I need to go eat dinner. I'm hungry. That was a very long stream. Holy fuck. I was live for 11 and a half hours. Fuck. This character actually raids Heat 3 again tomorrow. <laughs> In a different group within the same guild. <laughs> yeah, I have to Hearthstone. Cancel the world buffs, log out in a town, 